Looks like Parker's still parked. Hey, Trixie, look over there! Why? Didn't you see it? No. Ah, uh, never mind. Danny. You. Trust me, things will get better. Just keep listening to the music. Why? None of the words help anymore. <laughs> I think I'm too early. Hang in there, Danny. Oh, God. Right. I can turn my life around. Sure you can. You know what? I used to be a good cop. And yeah, I've had a few bad breaks. Possibly even a psychotic one that caused me to imagine a disappearing space car. But I'm a good man. Yeah. And all I need to do to win Betty back is be the same good man I always was. And let the chips fall where they may. All right. So now what? Now I wait. Wait for the moment to take down Kid Tannen, restore my good name, and win back the heart of Betty Lipinski. Hold that thought. I bet that moment is just around the corner. Boss? Do you mind? I'm trying to have a good time here. I think you'll want to see this. Are you crazy? Bringing a stick of dynamite into my club? That's just it, boss. It's all over the place. I think our speakeasy arsonist is getting ready to strike again. What to do now? You have to show a picture of George and he will draw it. You think you could draw a picture of this guy? Sure. Hey, that looks like that Artie McFly think. Hmm, I never noticed that before. Hey, uh, can you give him a hat like Artie wears? Voila! Nice job. Now, go tell them chumps at the New Yorker. He's actually quite good. And you guys, yeah, as I said, you put the character up here. Sorry about this, Dad. Not a pretty bunch. Sorry, lady. I didn't mean to get your boyfriend kicked out of the club. Oh, water under the bridge. I didn't you mean that one. Keep his seat warm. Uh, thanks anyway. I thought I was Trixie's. There we go. Uh, Trixie? Yeah? I don't know how to tell you this, but I think you should check out the Wall of Fame. Why? What is it? Artie! I don't believe it! We had a deal! Artie was supposed to be... safe! I don't know what to say. Well, I do. Felony tax evasion. What? Before he died... Artie was teaching me about all sorts of stuff. Literature, history, accounting. And I made a big discovery while I was copying all of kids' books. This establishment ain't entirely on the up and up. Really? Oh, I knew about all the gangster stuff. That kind of thing you expect from tough guys like Hid. But when I found out he ain't been paying taxes on his speakeasy profits, well, cheating Uncle Sam is one step over the line. Once I turn this over to the police, they'll throw the book at him. This book? Hey, copper! Just pure silent one.
What happened to my louse of an ex-boyfriend? I don't know. Rats. I told the chief we need a team of bloodhounds like they got over in Placerville. Yeah, but in the meantime... All right, everyone. Party's over. Everyone out of the speakeasy. Speakeasy? You're mistaken, officer. This is an ice cream parlor. <laughs> nice try, you. Out! Callahan. Would the Valenti mob be willing to help, uh, defuse this little situation? Sure, no problem. I'll bring it up in the next, uh, company meeting. Hey, we ain't begging here. Kid just thought JJ might like a piece of the action. Especially now that he's just caught the speakeasy arsonist. Wait, you mean... Doc? Doc? You ain't with the Valenti gang at all, are you? What do you know about the arsonist? Come on, you. Off to the station house. Kid's gonna get you, rat. He's gonna get all of you. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's that. Thanks to Miss Trotter's evidence, the entire Hill Valley police force is out looking for Kid and his goons. You don't understand. We've got to find him now. He's captured a friend of mine. Who? Uh, never mind. Don't worry. We've got the entire town square sealed off. If Tannen's within a mile of here, we'll find him eventually. Uh, I don't think we have time for eventually. I don't mean that. Wait, is there anything we can... Show anything? I don't think so. Hoover 28. A chicken in every pot. How's that working out, Herbie? Hey, boy, how you doing? Good dog. Why is he shouting so fucking loud? Parker must have confiscated this hooch from the speakeasy. Nice ride. Anything? Let's move on here. Irving Kid Tannen. Guess he dropped this on his way out. It's empty. Figures. Ah, that's what we can show. I know Einstein was there for a reason. Hey, Einie, get your nose over here. All right. I really don't think Tannen and Doc are with Herbert Hoover, Einie. Okay, okay, I'll check it out. A button. All right, Doc, here I come. Callahan, what are you doing here? Uh, never mind. Come here and help me get rid of this stinking arsonist. Edna? Caught a plant in dynamite while he was clearing out the soup kitchen. Guess Sagan was innocent after all. I was researching a story, you ignoramus! Sell it to St. Peter's sister. Hey, what's all this? Parker? Tannen, you're under arrest. Get him, Sacramento boy. I can't do that, kid. What? Oh, I get it. Why don't you let go of Miss Strickland and call it a night? Hey, look over there! Watch out! Oh, fuck. Give it up, Tannen. The alley's blocked off and so are the roads out of town. It's over. Over? Nothing is over until Kid Tannen says it's over. I can't reach them from over here. He's not about to let me in. What should I do? Do you have a gun? Not a real one. Beats me. Make it easy on yourself. Tannin? Tannins never make things easy. 
I don't think he wants to smoke right now. I just thought because the fake gun it could work. Oh shit. Make it easy on yourself, Tannen. Is this gonna distract? What the fuck am I supposed to do? I don't have a gun. Go, Tannen! Make like a tree and die, rat! Ooh. Whoa! Do you reckon I could roll that under the barn and use my fake gun, but I need to get in the, out of the building first? No one messes with Kid Tannen! Hey, Kid! Eat lead, phony! Hey, moron! More on this! Tannin, make like a tree and die, rat. Hey, had a girl. Come on, kid. You the battle. Bowling for tannins. Me? Are you shooting at me? Nah. Hey, kid. Ha, that ain't a real gun. Oh, right. I forgot. I better just get rid of it then. Oh, crap. <coughs> hey, he's getting away. Oh, no. Yes. No. There. Good as new. Oh, look, Tannen. The judge's son. All right, Parker. I want a getaway car and a clear road to Nevada, or the brown kid gets it. Doc. Marty. Doc? Yes, it's me. I'm talking to you through the radio apparatus my younger self has installed in the rocket car. What's going on up there? It's not good, Doc. Trixie and Parker did their part, but now Kid's holding you hostage. Great Scott! No kidding. Try to get Kid in the car. Once he's inside, give me a signal, and I'll do the rest. How am I... You! Emmett! You're the cause of all of this, ain't you? Should've known. You don't look like any Callahan I ever seen. Yeah, well, what kind of gangster's named Irving? I clicked the egg fucking button. I got the walk to smoke. There hey. we go. I clicked squirrels to the egg. What the hell? <laughs> Woohoo! With Carl Irving Tannen, I'm placing you under arrest for kidnapping, attempted murder, tax evasion, and smelling like a piece of crap. Tax evasion? Haven't you heard? The feds are practically drooling over Trixie's books. Trixie? That's what you get for killing Artie, you bastard! What? I didn't... Trixie? Artie? All right, Grandpa. My poor car. I believe I owe you an apology, Mr. Brown. Thanks to your ridiculous contraption, Hill Valley's most notorious criminal is finally headed to prison. No apologies necessary, Miss Strickland. My rocket car may have accidentally saved the day, but only because it's a completely out-of-control failure. I need a new idea. If you're willing to listen, I might have a few suggestions. But first, I think we should take in a movie. I'm all yours, Mr. Brown. I think you'll like it. 
It's all about a brilliant scientist with an overabundance of hubris. Whew. Come on, Einy. Let's go find Doc. Thanks for letting me fly the DeLorean, Doc. This thing's a blast. Are you absolutely sure that everything's back to normal? Totally. Kids going to jail, Emmett's going to see Frankenstein, and there's no such thing as a tanning crime family in 1986. And we remembered Einstein this time, too. Hill Valley crime rate at all-time low. Hmm. Well, except for Grandpa necking with Trixie, I think we're ready to go back to 1986. You feel yourself fading out of existence? No. Then as long as your father's still born in seven years, I say, let your grandfather sow his oats. Sowing oats? Is that what's going on with you and Edna? What are you talking about? Emmett and Edna, they're gonna go see Frankenstein together. That's... odd. God. What? We've got to get back in. Stop the car. This could be disastrous. Doc! Where'd you go, Doc? Relax. Uh. We've got everything under control. Doc? Martin McFly, age 18. Okay, Doc, let's see what kind of nightmare alternate timeline I've landed in this time. Father George, Mother Lorraine. Hill Valley under Citizen Brown is not quite the contented town you were led to believe it was. A re-education program? What the hell? Please don't swear, Martin. It makes me uncomfortable. Zero demerits until this morning. We're through, McFly. I'll never date such a square again. My own girlfriend thinks I'm a square? The obvious question, Mr. McFly, is... What happened to you? Jesus Christ, Doc, what happened to you? 